So uh, we're going to do some cleanup, all right? So I'm going to put that aside. And then, so the first thing we're going to do is to clean up. So this is a beautiful, clean um, website, okay? A boilerplate. So one thing that I'm going to do is that I'm not going to spend so much time on the CSS, all right? because I want to bring out the logic. I want to make sure the video is shot, but at the same time getting to, you know, um, the details, the, the, the main content of today's video. So what I'm going to do is to, I'll post this, I'll post this script, you know, on GitHub for you. So what I'm going to do, you're going to come into source, then global, then I'm going to get rid of all these styles and then paste that. So we don't want to spend a lot of time in CSS. Um, I'm not going to need this page. So um, first things first, let me get into this. And um, what I'm going to do is to um, delete all these. All right. So this. So first things first. So when, when a page loads for Next.js, right, it's always looking for just like in HTML, HTML looks for the index, um, index.html. So in Next.js, this is the page, page.js is the actual page that they are looking for. That's where all the content should be. All right. So, so what I'm doing is that I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We want that. We're not, we're not going to need that. And then I'm, I'm not going to need the, the CSS, all right? Because that's this file over here. So we won't need, need that. Another thing is that I'm not going to need... Um, um, so this is the way you can style... Um, you can style in Next.js, all right. So that so that's a way. But we've installed we've installed Bootstrap, and for that reason, because we don't want to style that way. This is the way of styling. You can also import the global CSS and then write actual styles like you used to in HTML. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave that as that. So when that goes away, so I'll not need that image as well so so you can tell that we are really cleaning up everything okay so do. make sure all that is there so i'm gonna i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna move this Aside, all right. So I'm gonna move this aside for pretty much. Um... No, actually, I'm gonna leave it in here. All right, I'm gonna leave it in here. So, so the next thing I'm gonna do. This is our app. So the next thing I'm gonna do is. So I'll walk you through how Next.js works. I mean, the layer the JS works. Then um, I'm gonna I'm also gonna need I'm gonna delete this, and uh, don't worry about this. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna um, put all the, uh, the assets in. I'm gonna put all the assets in the description below. All right, so don't worry about that. So. Um, So what I'm going to do is to provide you an asset over here.
All right, it looks like everything is all set. We, we are really not gonna use this. So, don't worry about all that. So yeah, first things first, okay? So now we've done the cleanup, everything looks crisp right now. And um, we've added the CSS. So, the first thing that you're gonna look at are components, okay? So in, so in, Next.js 13, all right? There are a couple of updates that have been rolling around, all right? And the first thing is how you route pages, okay? So that's in routing. And um, let me give you an example. So let's say, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to create a folder here, okay? And that, that folder is gonna be called components, okay? Components and so within components, I'm gonna have, uh, let, let's start with an example. So let's say in components, we have an about page. Okay, so this is not part of, this is not part of um, what we're gonna be doing today, but I just wanna show you something, okay? So in about page, if you create a folder, you can then create a page.js since I'm using JavaScript, okay? So now, then I can, um, RFC, so then I can now create um, a React component, okay? So I can name this component about, okay? So in the latest React, uh, what we can do, um, so now we can call this about us, okay? So now if I come to page.js, which is this page, right? What I can do is to create a link. I can create a link, all right? And then that link uh, will have a regular href. And that link can link to the about, all right? So you need to make sure, this is where you need to be careful, right? So you need to make sure that this name is the same as the name of your folder, all right? So that's how amazing <laughs> React is, okay? I mean, Next.js is. So um, so the that's the name. And now I can link, all right? And now in here, I can link import link okay from next dot link okay so and then yeah and then um since we have react right now i can say class name or oh, not even that all right i can say in here that the class name let's say text i have a fancy color in here that i like and that's gonna be that's gonna be um, text green okay so so when I come in here I could say that all my text should be green I can add that class in there okay and then I can write in here about. Okay, so now you can see our about in here. So it's not that, I'll, I'll add this in here, that I want that text to be green. There you go. So Next.js is pretty much amazing in this way. So take a look. So when I click on about, so the problem here is that we are linking to a component, all right? And the page that we want should pretty much be under here. So okay, so take a look. So when we put, when we go in up and then create a new page about, Sorry, so um, this, so the component, the reason as why it wasn't linking is that because we're linking to a component, okay? So if we move, um, where is, 
need to maximize this. So if we get this, move it over here, okay? Move it over there. Since these are pages, these are page, all right? So you can't put a page, you can't put a page in, you can't put a page in components, okay? So I'm gonna copy this. All right, I'm gonna copy that, then go ahead and delete that. Okay, so we don't need any, yeah, so this is trying to look for it. So we don't need, let's go back to home. And um, in here, all right, in here, we're gonna create an about folder. And then within there, we're gonna create a page dot js and then in there we're gonna put our app in there okay and then and then take a look so yeah so this is beautiful yeah i'm glad actually we went through that because now we can see the nitty gritties of what's going on in next.js so before you could link pages whatever but now things are being moved around all right so i guess i was used to the old one so now that when you're at the home page see so when you're in the home page we have two links okay we have two links so let me add some um gap in here okay no actually I'm gonna do it. so so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna say max auto max so this is not what I'm gonna do today okay I'm just showing you how things so that's a little styling over there oh is that oh we, we forgot to link bootstrap in our pages so we need we need bootstrap Okay, and how, how you can do that is to get over the here and then say, that's the main page, the index page. You could say import, all right? Import, so what, bootstrap is all the way, bootstrap is all the way. When you come into your node modules, bootstrap is all the way here and you need to go to dist and go to CSS and um, the file that we're looking for should be this. You can copy the relative path. All right. So you can do the minimized CSS or you could do, you could do, um, yeah, actually we're going to do the minimized CSS. So it's going to be the same thing. All right. So where is this, um, this one? All right, this is what we want. Copy relative path. And then what you're gonna do in, in here, you're gonna say import. So this is how Bootstrap will work, all right? Import. So I'm gonna paste that link, but you're not gonna need all this. So Next.js will just figure out where everything is and then route to it. That's the beauty of um, Next.js. So take a look. So now, now that we've modified all that, now we have, yeah, this is the thing here. You need to, after installing Bootstrap, you need to import it into your main index page. So now you see that if we um, add the, um, if we add margins of one on either side, so now um, take a look. So now we have that. So now this is what we wanted to see. So now let's see, when you go to about, okay, I didn't add anything in our about where is um, about so uh, if you want to look for a page real quick you can if you're using vs code you can say um command p and then that will take you all the way in here in there so in here we can say class name text white okay yeah there you go there you go so now you can come back to the home page you can go to the um about page you can 
you know so now now that fixes that fixes um routing 